Hey everybody, Mazer here, and we have a new crafting video for you. This is going to be an experimental video. I saw recently on the YouTubes that somebody said that they can use their laser etcher, their desktop laser etcher, to create a laser etch on a small piece of glass, which would be like this shot glass right here. Now, I already know how to do a lot of glass etching. I use this product right here, which he also recommends. It's called Armor Etch. And I use a combination of vinyl to make stencils and the Armor Etch to create things such as this. This is a Hyrulean mug that I made. It's very nice, very lovely. The problem with this, though, is my vinyl cutter is unable to make tiny, tiny little details for something as small as this shot glass which is a huge shame. This guy's video though came up with a solution to this. He says you can use a laser etcher to create a stencil and then use the armor etch to etch it into the glass. And his solution was as follows. He says you should take some black nail polish, apply it to the shot glass, and then use the laser etcher to cut out the design Use the armor etch to do the design and then clean it off using what we have here is some nail polish remover. So what we're going to do is we're going to get this glass nice and clean before we apply this uh, black nail polish. And then we will uh, set up the laser and see if this technique is feasible. One second. Okay, so we got the shot glass nice and sparkly clean. All we did was we took some rubbing alcohol like this stuff right here and we put it on a cotton ball and then we just scrubbed it down really good and then dried it off simple simple it is the process I use for all of my glass etching I first always clean it off with rubbing alcohol it leaves a very nice clean surface so we're going to uh, try this nail polish uh, there we go a nice jet black and we're going to choose which part of the surface let's see here which looks the best right here that looks the cleanest and he said we just apply um, enough nail polish to basically like make a layer so let's just glob this stuff on keep coating this up and then we'll be back when it is nice and dry alright alright everybody we are back and we have the black part of the glass right here underneath our laser you can kinda of see the laser poking through there right there see now this is a 1500 milliwatt laser um, supposedly that should be strong enough we use several pieces of rubber bands to keep the glass in place and if you notice the glass is bottom side this way so if you're doing this make sure to rotate your image 180 degrees and more most importantly we have a fan because I'm sure this is going to have a lot of fumes when the laser starts burning through it now what we're going to do is send the image to the machine and you'll see it create like a box like location of where it's going to burn so that should give us a good idea of where it's going to be and I've chosen this image from Silent Hill 3 and the reason I chose this is because there's a lot of small details which is exactly what I'm looking for so what we're going to do is we're going to run the laser at about a burn time of let's say 85 so that's how uh, that's a nice slow burn and we'll run it maybe three or four times and then check in periodically to see how it turns out so let's get this started uh, let's see here start and turn the fan on ah, there it goes All right. and this might take a few passes to start actually burning I'm not seeing anything yet but again it's going to take a while for this to uh, burn we might actually have to adjust the laser's uh, focus because it looks a little big right now because it's closer to the laser, but we'll find out in a little bit. Oh, no, let's see, it might be doing something. The laser did go through the glass right there, see? But uh, we'll come back. Yeah, it's burning. I can smell it. So we'll come back in a little bit and check up on it. 
Okay, so we washed the glass and got it all taken care of, and here's what it looks like. You can see, for the most part, it turned out really good. You can see all the tiny little details on the etching job we did. This was about four, three or four passes on various powers, finally ending it at the highest my laser can actually go. But for some reason, it would not etch this edge right here. It would not edge up, uh, etch up here either which is very strange so I thought maybe I put the nail polish on way too thick so I tried a thinner layer on the back and again it was started etching decently here nothing at all near the top and just a smudged mess all over so that's kind of a disappointment we are going to put the etching cream on I washed this off as good as I can now let's see what happens if we do the etching cream and then remove the nail polish um, with the nail polish remover and see how much of this actually went through. So let's take a look. Alright, so we have our armor etch cream right here. It's nicely stirred up and we're just going to apply this on uh, both sides. So we masked off the area that we don't want etched just in case like right here and just and we're just going to okay so we're going to let this sit for about three minutes um, and then we're going to rinse it off and after rinsing it we're just going to straight up use the nail polish remover and clean it off and see how it turns out there we go excellent so we'll see everybody again in three minutes okay we are back uh... we washed the glass off of everything let's re remove the uh, nail polish it shouldn't be that hard yeah that comes off real easy alright let's see here so this is the side that got the deepest etch um, hard to see. Let me uh, adjust my light a little bit. There you go. You may be able to see it better there. But um, yeah. So only part of this etched out. You can see it right here, right here. Now we did get from what we did get. Let's see if we can focus. Uh, we did get some great amount of detail. Look at that right here. Okay, okay. Now I wonder if you could see this better on my red wall. Let's find out. Oh yes, you can. So with a dark background, there you go. Now we can see it. Yeah, we only etched part of the circle. So the laser didn't go through the nail polish at all on top not completely and this is the side where we use the least amount of nail polish and again we got the curve right here nothing in the middle not a single thing well that is a shame so what is the result of our test the result of our test is that this thing completely and utterly failed no luck However, disclaimer, this test may not be 100% accurate across the board. And let me explain why. I noticed a few things that happened in my um, lasering that I did not notice uh, happened to his. Number one, I actually think this glass is not the best thing to use he used a smaller shot glass if I remember the video correctly and the result of that was that his laser was higher up you see anytime my laser got to the highest point which would be up here I believe the focus went out of whack because when you adjust the laser you have to make it the tiniest point and the closer the object is to the laser the more you have to focus it so it was mostly focused for this lower area 
And because it's sloped upwards like this, by the time the laser made it to the tall curve right here, it went out of focus and was no longer burning well, which explains why we only get this part right here. And right here we got the bottom areas as the cleanest. As you can see, the cleanest part comes from the bottom. So I'm pretty sure that is one of the reasons. Maybe if we used a smaller shot glass, one that doesn't taper as much, the results might have been much better. Uh, the second problem I came up with that I could believe uh, explains all this is the fact that I just did not do the nail polish very evenly. This side was very thick. It was a lot, a lot very thick up here and uh, so much down here. And this side, where I did very thin, was actually very splotchy and not very well evened, which could have skewed the results either way. So, inconclusive overall, because I did notice problems on my end, and theoretically it did actually make some nice little etches right here and here. But will this be a viable source for people to attempt? I don't think so. To be completely honest, it is it was proven to be just such a hassle to do this. And I had to do several passes over and over and over again to even make something as thin as uh, as small as this appear, which was a huge shame. So I would not recommend this personally, but that's because I just find the uh, process a little tedious and not 100% guaranteed because I thought that as you all saw the, the the laser looked like it went through all the way for this part and then after we wash it off and everything we realize oh it only went through parts of it and now it's too late to fix anything so this is not a viable substitute for vinyl unfortunately it is really cool I will. Uh, I don't regret doing the experiment, and I do recommend checking out the guy's videos. He gives a lot of tips on how to perfect this process. But from my experience, too much uh, work for very little results. Maybe I'll try again if I find a smaller shot glass. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just wear the nail polish and continue looking very pretty. We'll see. But. Not everything goes according to plan. Uh, I'll put the description, or uh, I'm sorry, I'll put the link in the guy's video below. So please check him out, support him. And if you like this video, please remember to like and subscribe. I am Mazer. Thank you for joining me today, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hey everyone, Mazer here, and I just want to thank you for watching my video. Please remember to like and subscribe. Your support means the world to me.